It is the divisional playoffs on Fox here in Santa Clara, and it is rocking. The Dallas Cowboys and the San Francisco 49ers, and we say welcome to the booth. He's Greg Olson. I'm Kevin Burkhardt, and man, is this going to be fun. Stars all over the field. We start with the 49ers, Greg. They're red hot. They've won 11 in a row. The last six have been with rookie quarterback Brock Purdy. The crazy thing is, since he's played, they're better with him on offense. Yeah, there's no question. And so often when young rookie quarterbacks like Brock Purdy are kind of thrust into the spotlight, they find themselves playing meaningful games down the stretch, let alone playoff games. The expectation is just kind of stay out of the way. Don't mess it up. The reality here in San Francisco, the 49ers are not winning in spite of Brock Purdy. Oftentimes, they're winning because of Brock Purdy. Yeah. Meanwhile, on the other side, you got the Cowboys. They haven't been to a championship game in 27 years. Dak Prescott played maybe the best game he's had in his career last week. This feels, though, like a legacy game for him. It, 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 there's no question. And like it or not, quarterbacks' careers, their legacies are judged on how they play in big moments, how they play in playoff games, championships. And for Dak Prescott to do something that hasn't been done in 27 years and take the Dallas Cowboys back to the NFC Championship against their rival, San Francisco 49ers, he can write a pretty big chapter in this book as far as his legacy is concerned. We can't wait to get it going. An iconic matchup. It's the Cowboys and the 49ers divisional playoffs and kickoff on Fox. Coming up next. Well, if you want a great rivalry, you got to check all of the boxes. And Cowboys and 49ers does that with nostalgia, right? All the history with these two teams. Classic uniforms. Everyone knows when these two teams are on the field. Hostility. Oh, we got that, too. And don't forget this. Yeah, iconic moments. It's all there. We have it for you today. The 49ers and the Cowboys. Next. The NFL is sponsored by Intuit TurboTax. Come to TurboTax and don't do your taxes. Meet with an expert who'll do them for you so you can watch more football. Fox Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the National Football League. Welcome to the divisional playoffs presented by Intuit TurboTax here in Santa Clara. Cowboys and the 49ers just moments away from kickoff as we go downstairs and say hello to Aaron Andrews. Hi, Kev. It's the question everybody is asking. When is this 49ers quarterback, Brock Purdy, going to start looking and playing like a rookie? Everyone thought it was going to be last week against Seattle on Saturday. He even said to us, my first throw, the ball was wet. It slipped out of my hands. But then he thought, I'm not going to overthink this whole thing. Let's just take it one play at a time. He said he got some completions under his belt. And then they scored. And the game became just any other game. But what about this matchup? Cowboys on the field, Hall of Famers all around the stadium. He said again, yeah, it's awesome. But I can't worry about playing so well that they make a docu-series about me again. Let's keep it simple. That's how I have to play it in my mind. For more on Dallas, let's send it over to Tom. Well, EA, likely no Dallas Cowboy is under greater scrutiny heading into this game than their kicker, Brett Maher. After missing just three extra points all regular season, he missed four in a row Monday night in Tampa. Certainly, the 49ers seem well aware of where Maher might be mentally. He went 7 for 7 Thursday in practice, 13 for 14, but this is pregame. Debo Samuel working in and through the area where Maher was attempting to warm up at one point. Then Trent Williams came over to get involved in the mix as members from both staffs had to separate the players. Also keep in mind, the Dallas Cowboys have practiced and have twice the number of two-point conversion plays ready to go. If there's any trouble with Maher early on, it'll be fascinating to see how this plays off as we kick this one off, guys. Can't wait. Well, a little gamesmanship early as we tell you about Spanish language broadcast that's available today on Fox Deportes. Cowboys won the toss. They have deferred. 49ers will get the ball first. And here we go. McLeod thought about it. He's going to let it go. And so the 49ers will come on out.